we have covered a lot of ground here. We've covered all kinds of different measures of cost. We started thinking about total costs, uh, which is a combination of your fixed cost and your variable costs. And then we took the total cost and divided by some measure of output that gave us average costs. We added to that the really important measure, marginal cost, which is the cost of adding one unit of output to your plant. So all of those cost measures are important measures of cost for a power plant you already have in place. And it turns out that these cost measures are going to be really important for helping us decide which power plants we want to run at a given point in time. Then we added some long-run measures of cost, and that is um, what would the cost be for a new power plant we're deciding to build. And the levelized cost of energy is a measure of what it would take to add one more megawatt hour of lifetime capacity to a given power plant. If we're going to run it at 80% capacity factor, then we have to add a, 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 just a tad more capital, capac capital um, cost to the plant. We have to make the plant just a little bigger, and um, it's going to have slightly higher fuel costs, so we have what are the incremental fixed and variable costs required if we're going to add one more unit of electricity over the lifetime of the power plant. So that's what our levelized cost of energy measures for us. Uh, so we can think about comparing different sources of electricity for our next investment based on what it costs to get that additional megawatt hour of electricity. The levelized avoided cost of energy is what don't we have to build and if we're avoiding really high cost generating sources by building our new power plant, then um, the levelized cost of energy will be above the, the levelized avoided cost of energy will be above the levelized cost of building this power plant, so it's a good deal compared to what we're replacing with it. Finally, we looked at the annual revenue requirement, which uh, allows us to compare um, the likely cost of different types of power plants depending on the expected duty cycle for those power plants. So uh, we've covered our vocabulary of costs 